Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne, and this is another video on my YouTube channel. I've uh, got a four and a half thousand videos on my YouTube channel, and I've got 121 self published books on Amazon. So I'm qualified as a Christian teacher. So you may uh, <clears throat> use that uh, to garner your level of respect. Uh, before you listen to what I have to say here, perhaps uh, you can recognize me as a gifted teacher, a one who's been doing it for years and uh, has earned my right to say things. In Matthew 7, uh, Jesus, just after he says, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness, to a whole lot of Christians that were doing signs and wonders, he goes on to say, he that uh, hears these sayings of mine uh, and does not do them will be likened until a man who built his house upon the sand, who, who uh, when the storms came, uh, totally wiped out his house. Um, and uh, I just want to share with you that these sayings of mine uh, that he quotes there are uh, his 50 commandments that Jesus had, 50 commandments, and uh, the meaning and obeying his 54 parables. Now, I'm quite aware that only 1% of the Christian church, only one out of 100 Christians that you ask, are even aware that Jesus had 50 commandments. Um, and uh, the Apostle John actually says nine times in his writings, in the Gospel of John and in his letters, if you love Jesus, obey his commandments. And he said that nine times, but no Christian takes the time to research what Jesus' commandments are. And uh, so when Jesus says, uh, he who uh, hears these sayings of mine and obeys them is, uh, one one part of his sayings is his commandments, and the other part is his parables. And I would say that not more than 1% of Christians, not more than one uh, Christian out of 100, actually understands what Jesus' parables actually mean, and then uh, therefore obeys them. So there'd only be 2% of the church, 1% or 2% of the church, who who actually obey the sayings of Jesus um, and therefore uh, have built their uh, life upon the rock. 98% or the vast majority of Christians have built their life upon the sand. That doesn't mean they're not going to go to heaven, but it does mean uh, in times over, over the next 20 to 30 years, as storms erupt on the earth and, and hard times come, that their houses are going to fall, their whole life and their livelihood is going to be crushed and they're really going to suffer like Jesus prophesied. Jesus prophesied that 2,000 years ago. It hasn't really happened on many occasions in the world. But when you're uh, obeying uh, the teachings of Jesus, you'll be safe. And the reason why you'll be safe is in order to obey Jesus, in order to uh, use his commands and his parables to take every thought captive in order to live according to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Uh, you need the strength and the ability of the Holy Spirit. You need to be in communication with the Holy Spirit. And uh, in Romans 8, uh, it says that those who are led by the Spirit, these are the sons of God. And I personally think uh, the statistic is about 2% of Christians uh, who go to church are led by the Holy Spirit, which means the Holy Spirit uh, leads them in what they do. Just like I was led to do this video and the Holy Spirit is actually uh, putting the words in my mouth and I'm speaking according uh, to the leading of the Holy Spirit, only 2% of Christians are actually led by the Holy Spirit, uh, and uh, when when you try and obey Jesus' commandments and you try and obey his parables, you need the actual extra enablement of the Holy Spirit. So 
It's only through obeying Jesus or trying to obey Jesus that uh, you develop spiritual intimacy uh, with the Holy Spirit. And uh, it's not until you're a son of God, which, which is someone who's being led by the Holy Spirit, that you can become the bride of Christ. And only if you're the bride of Christ uh, will you be t taken in the pre-tribulation rapture? Uh, so 98% of the church as it stands is going to go through the tribulation. They're going to be left behind, which is sad uh, for a lot of people. Um, so I have uh, two books, uh, one called The Narrow Way, uh, The Parables of Jesus Made Simple, and one called the narrow way, the commandments of Jesus. I'd encourage you to read those books, uh, uh, get those books into you and start to obey them over the next two to five years before the storms come because the storms are going to come. COVID was just part of the storms that are going to come. The storms are going to come and it's going to wipe people's out, lives out. Uh, so it's really sad to me. That's why... Uh, it's really sad to me that so many Christians are ignorant and blind and uh, there's so many blind guides leading the Christian church at the moment that all the Christians have fallen into a ditch and they don't know they're a ditch and they don't know that they've got blind guides and they don't know that narrow and difficult is the gate that leads to life and few find it. They don't realise that only 2% of the church have found that way and are living that way. They don't know that 98% of them are on the broad way that leads to destruction. Uh, so I hope uh, this has uh, given you uh, something to consider. I'd encourage you to go and get those two books. Um, those books are available uh, on my free website, uh, and uh, you can see those books uh, in, in the description tag. My free website is on the description tag underneath this video. So you don't even have to pay for those books. You can read them on your phone or your computer. Um, I encourage you to do some research on the teachings or the sayings of Jesus and implement them in your life. Stop playing religion. Stop praying your prayers and singing your worship and going to church and mixing with Christians. Start to obey Jesus and become a disciple of him. Jesus said no one can be greater than their master, but it's good if you actually become like your master. There's very few Christians who actually emulate Jesus. There's very few Christians who aren't judgmental and rude. Uh, Jesus was never judged judgmental and rude. Um, so uh, I encourage you to uh, do some investigation and uh, change your life. Um, if uh, you want to comment on this video, I'd welcome comments and I'll, I'll respond to every comment. Uh, if you've listened to this video to this point, uh, press the thumbs up and like this video and it also stores that uh, on your YouTube uh, so you can uh, watch it again. Um, if uh, you're happy uh, with this teaching and you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I also welcome that. Uh, God bless you.